Oh, hi there. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, I've been busy making some fantastic content for you. I hope you've had a good restful week. Uh, we're going to get back to some more trigonometry today. Uh, I just want to do a quick overview for this topic and then um, I'll talk about some some trig um, and then maybe, you know, I'll start talking about what it's like to be like YouTube famous and dealing with the trappings of fame um, and being recognized every time you go out. So the topic is um, trigonometry. We've done all of advanced trig um, for in 2D shapes. I've added, I've changed this now. So this is why it took me a while to plan this. And we're doing exact trig values. Um, there'll be about two or three videos on that at least. And then we're gonna do 3D Pythagoras and 3D trig. So um, you should have all of, you should have your book in front of you and sitting at the table. And we're gonna start going through this topic uh, with you. So the title is um, Trigonometry Exact Values. So that's what we're looking at. And I'm gonna give you some background knowledge on this topic first. And do not make notes unless I tell you to, because you may end up copying stuff which I have planned for you to copy later. So background knowledge, trigonometry is just a ratio. So for example, sine is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse side. Um, and when you put these values in the calculator, you get stuff like sine 27, sine 28. I've just chosen some random values here. And what you realize is in certain trig values like sine 30, you may notice here, you get a nice number. You don't get a number that goes on um, something like a half, and sometimes you get a third as well. So we can use those nice numbers, especially if the angle is a nice angle, like 30 degrees in this case, and we can then do trigonometry without a calculator. So in this case, for example, here, you can see uh, the angle is 30 degrees. We're using sine, so the opposite side is 16, that must mean that the hypotenuse is 32 because it's a one to two ratio, one over two. Uh, in the same way, this triangle here on, on the right, you can see if the hypotenuse is 15, well, that must mean that the opposite to the 30 degrees will have to be half of that, so it's 7.5. And then in this triangle here, you know, if the opposite is 20, then the hypotenuse has to be 40. So we're gonna be, that's the big idea, is we're gonna be using specific trigonometric values for specific angles such as 30. Um, this whole topic is gonna to be non-calculator, so you shouldn't have it with you. I'm gonna introduce you to a summer anthem as well, which you're probably gonna to add to your Spotify playlist when you get the chance to, along with the circle song and uh, the area of a trapezium song as well. Um, and then we're going to do some work on exact trig values. So uh, just in terms of working out exact trig values, uh, um, using the triangle, state as a fraction the exact value of sine theta. Well, you know that sine theta in this triangle here, if that's your theta there, is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So your opposite side is 5 your hypotenuse is 13. Your hypotenuse always has to be opposite the right angle and is always the longest side. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos theta, the adjacent side is 12, hypotenuse is 13. And tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, which is 5 over uh, 12. So that's the idea that we're looking at and you're going to need to be able to do this for the topic as we go through it. So just going back to the lesson plan, I'm going to introduce two special triangles that you're going to be required to know and you're going to use them to work out these special cases for these special angles. So 30 degrees is one of these special angles. The other two are 60 and 90. And we're going to look at how we can work those out. So um, 
Special triangle one, you don't have to copy this out, just listen to the explanations and make sure it makes sense to you. And then I'll talk about how we can memorize these things. So an equilateral triangle with a side length two, so all the sides are two. The question is, if you split this in half, what are the angles? So I split this in half, I'm looking at the green triangle now. I can work out the hypotenuse of the green triangle already, because that's just, uh, that's going to be two, but the angles, well, if it's an equilateral triangle, all of the angles have to be 60, except on the top, because I split it in two, that's going to be 30. Uh, and on the base, I can see it's a right angle triangle, so I'm going to have a 90. So I'm only interested in this, this green triangle now. What are the side lengths? Well, that has to be two. And on the base, we split it into two parts, so that two becomes one and one. So to work out this side here, in, uh, the, the perpendicular height for right angle triangle, we've got two lengths, we can just use Pythagoras. So you can say one squared plus B squared, let's call this side B is equal to two squared. You rearrange it and that turns out that B is equal to root three. That's, that is triangle one. Now, it's special because from this, you can see we've got a 30 degree angle and we've got a 60 degree angle there. We can actually work out some exact trig values from this. So sine 30, well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Now, if that's the angle we want, that's the opposite. And that's the hypotenuse. So sine theta is going to be 1 over 2. I can also work out cos, uh, cos 30. Now cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's going to be root 3 over 2. And then tan 30, uh, you can probably do that in your head, is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's the 30 degree angles, and you end up with this uh, 1 over root 3. You get 1 over root 3. And then for, for the 60 degree angle, you do the same thing. So pause the video and work out sine 60, cos 60, and uh, tan 60, and, and then replay the video. OK, so you should have got the following values. Root 3 over 2, 1 over 2, and root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. That special triangle one, we've worked out six exact trig values from this. Remember, there's ratios that we can use to work out missing uh, angles and lengths. Uh, and the second special triangle is an isosceles right angle triangle with shorter side length one. So from this, this, starting from this as our base, we don't need to know anything else. We can work everything else out from this. Um, this point here. So what are the angles and the lengths? Well, the angles are obvious because there's an isosceles, so those two have to add up to 90, so there must be 45 each. The missing length, we just use Pythagoras, and you can see you end up with root 2. From that, we can actually work out sine, cosine, and tan of 45. So pause the video again and then work out what those are. You don't have to write these neatly in your book yet. I have a table coming up. Okay, so now you should have uh, these following values. So 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, and 1. Those are the two special triangles you need to know. And these are the nine different exact trig values that you worked out. They're exact because we haven't rounded them. They're exact fractions. This doesn't work for all type all angles. It just works for these and some others that you might not need to know, but these are the main ones. So your calculator, when you put sine 45 in your calculator, looking back at this, I get 1 over root 2 from this triangle. However, your calculator will show you root 2 over 2. Why is that different? Well, your calculator will rationalize your answer always. So it's not actually different, it's equivalent. And you need to be aware of this whenever we do this topic, especially in tests or exams and revision guides. They show what might look like different uh, values than what you have revised. 
but they are actually the same. You just have to remember to rationalize. So sine 45 is one over root two, according to our triangle. Now, if I multiply that by root two over root two, I get root two over two. So the two red fractions you see are equivalent to each other. Uh, they're equally valid. I'm gonna show you which one's more uh, preferential to use. So here I've made a table of the exact trig values that we've worked out is a bit neater than doing a list. And I've also rationalized all of them where you can rationalize them onto this table on the right. So you can see the red ones that have been rationalized. Both tables are technically the same. They're all equivalent to each other. And um, you're required to actually memorize these values. So it's going to be a big table for you to work out, uh, for you to memorize. However, this table on the right is a lot easier to, to, um, to learn. It's not actually the whole table though. So don't make sure you don't copy this table out yet still. The rest of the trig values you need to know include zero and 90. You very rarely come across them, but they're actually fairly straightforward to memorize. Now, using a triangle with a zero degree angle is no longer a triangle, it's just a line. So you actually use the trigonometric graphs to work out the missing values. Now, you are required to know these trig graphs already, which we've done in class. So you just sketch out the trig graphs. You're probably not gonna need to sketch them out every time you can just do this in your head, but I've put them on the slides here for you. Sine zero, you can see that's gonna be zero. Cosine zero in the middle, uh, that goes to one, and then tan zero there, it goes to zero. And then for the 90 degree angles, sine 90 is one, sine ni uh, cosine 90 is zero, and then for tan 90, you can see it doesn't actually go anywhere. It's an asymptote. It doesn't touch that line. So it's not defined. You can't have tan 90. Uh, you need to copy this table into your books. So take as long as you want. Natalie, you can take three hours to do that if you want to. Um, and then you can continue the video. So. But sir, how can we possibly remember this table? If only there was a song to help us. <laughs> if only there was a song to help you. Uh, good point, Delhi. By the way, that's a, a first warning because you don't shout out in lessons. That's quite disrespectful. But yeah, if only there was a song that could help us. I just coincidentally typed up exactly what Delhi just, just asked us. If, if only there was a song. Well, there is a song. It's called Paolo's Song. And it's next on this playlist. We hopefully you're using. Um, you're going to need to listen to this song and it helps you to memorize the trick tables. It's something that last year's classes found quite useful. Um, and he goes through um, a little, little song that you can use. So uh, um, in a few minutes, you're going to, after you finish this video, you're going to watch that video as long as you need to, so that you know all the trig values. Um, the link for that is, is below here, but I'll paste it on Google Classroom. Before you uh, pause this video and go to that, there's a couple of things you need to remember. When you are using Paolo's song, which I assume you're going to use and start singing a lot uh, over the summer, don't forget that although he tells you about the values here, which are quite straightforward, you can actually spot some patterns already just by looking at that. People forget the top row and the side column, the order of those numbers. So sine, cos and tan goes on the side and 30, 45 and 60 across the top. If you don't like Paolo's song, I don't see why you wouldn't, because I think it's going to be a summer hit for sure. You can just remember the triangles uh, that I've gone through and you can sketch those out from here or you can go back in the video. Uh, do not use Maths Watch. It has some random thing with using your fingers and hands and it's just, it's really, it's a mess. So don't use that. Okay, so the next video, when you start the lesson after this, which is the next video after this, you should by then know all the exact trig values. So that's your next task. It, and it should only take you about five, 10 minutes. 
Uh, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you next time. Um, yeah, stay safe.